Here is another obvious uh, lymphoid tissue or perhaps lymphoid organ in that you can see, like in practically all lymphoid organs, follicles or secondary follicles in which you have the clearer or lighter lymphocytes on the inside of the follicle or the germinal center, and then the darker, bluer, or less cytoplasmed cells towards the periphery of the follicle. Uh, so we know that this is some type of lymphoid tissue. We know that it's not a, a lymph node because you don't have organization into uh, capsules uh, and medullary areas. Uh, so we suspect it's probably some sort of mucosal associated lymphoid tissue and because indeed you have some glands here which look mucinous, so typical of uh, the oral cavity or upper respiratory tract, we suspect these are tonsils. And we know that they are not palatine tonsils because they don't have squamous lined crypts. But what they do have, if you were paying attention, or if I am paying attention, is at the uh, periphery, we do have some type of uh, mucosa. And it is really not squamous, it's columnar. So we know that these tonsils are something other than uh, palatine tonsils. And because the normal mucosa of the uh, nasopharynx is a ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium like we see here, which slightly uh, enters into the lymphoid area as well to increase the interface between the uh, lymphoid cells and the epithelial cells. This is a pharyngeal tonsil found in the nasopharynx, uh, otherwise known as adenoids, especially when they become enlarged. They are definitely more visible than when they're not enlarged because in the normal state, they are just uh, slight thickenings of the mucosa grossly. You can see a little rim of cilia here. You could see single or perhaps pseudostratified uh, columnar cells overlying and intermingled with lymphoid tissue, which is dense towards the periphery of the nodule and lighter, bigger, and has more cytoplasm in the germinal center central portion of the follicle. This is a, a classical uh, adenoid or uh, pharyngeal tonsil. And of course, you know that these are just artifacts of cutting and cracks. And you know that the follicles here are various sizes and shapes. They're generally pretty big. And they are generally all 100% lymphocytes uh, with less cytoplasm towards the periphery and more uh, active, uh, nu larger nuclei, more cytoplasm, more differentiation on the inside of the follicle. And I thank you very much.